is cataractcoach.com. Clear optic versus yellow tinted optic. Which is better? Is there a big difference? What do you think? The best article I found was this one that shows that the normal crystalline lens absorbs UV and short wavelength visible radiation from an early age. At this time, no convincing theoretical arguments or empirical data suggest that the filtering of short wavelength visible radiation should be eliminated at the time of surgery. The choice of eye oil clearly remains at the discretion of the surgeon who can weigh the perceived benefits and drawbacks of each type. So what do you choose? Let's look at this case. Here we're implanting a lens that's totally clear. Now it does have a UV blocker. All lenses sold in the USA have a UV blocker. So it blocks ultraviolet light of 400 or less nanometers in wavelength. But it allows full transmission of all visible wavelengths. And that looks great, it sounds good. But is that normal, is that natural? Now because it lets in more blue light, Proponents of this lens say maybe it provides a little bit better nighttime vision because you're not blocking any light that's visible at all. Other proponents say, well, maybe it allows better circadian rhythms because we know that some of these blue light wavelengths have an important benefit in the regulation of circadian rhythms within the body. As you know, when it comes to neuroscience especially, there's a lot that's unknown and we're still learning. So this lens in the eye certainly produces great vision, and the manufacturers produce lenses with both just a UV blocker and no light filtering, as well as lenses that provide light filtering. With this lens, you have a cool color temperature, so things have a slightly bluish tint. Now here's a lens from the same manufacturer, and this lens has a little bit of a yellow tint, and you can see that yellowness as the lens goes in the eye. Now the question is, does this affect the vision of the patient? This lens blocks UV light, of course, but it also filters out some of the blue light, not all of it. And when you filter out some of that blue light, the idea is you take away some of this high energy light, maybe it's better for the macula, and the idea is also that it's more natural. It's Aim to be like a young, human, natural lens, and therefore gives a more natural color perception. Now, if you compare the two lenses, there is a slight difference. It's not huge. Color differentiation is identical. If you use a test like the Farnsworth Mueller 100 or other tests of color differentiation, there's no difference between the yellow tinted lens and the clear lens. But color perception may be very slightly different. This is a lens that's going to give a slightly warmer color temperature. So the blues won't be as cool or piercingly blue. And it's a little bit of a warmer glow to the appearance of things. So if you understand color temperature, this is a warmer color temperature. So the same picture that I showed you before, take a look now, it's a lot more warm, a natural color temperature. Look at the graph carefully. The brown line is a cataract. That's terrible. The green line is a 20-year-old human. The yellow line is a slightly yellow tinted eye well. And the blue line is a lens that's totally clear, just blocks UV light. So it seems to be for natural color temperature, you want the yellow lens. There's cool temperature. That's going to be the clear lens. Again, going back to natural and looking cool. So what's the bottom line? Either is okay. You tell me as a surgeon, which do you think is going to be better for your patient? And that's the lens you should use. Thanks for watching.